There is no science. No progress. Without sacrifice. So first, surprisingly emotional. I cried the entire <laughs> film, didn't know what was wrong with me. Talk to me a little bit kind of about how you're able to add that emotional element to what's typically a sci-fi thriller. Well, I think that for us, the, that emotional element is the actual core of the movie. I think that the, the sci-fi element is the, the excuse that is gonna get you there. But at the end of the day, the movie is about the characters and the relationships and, and, the, cho and the, the choices they make. Hello? How is this possible? So, as an expert in neuroscience, mm -hmm. just tell me, how realistic is this film? Are there any aspects that uh, we're seeing can potentially be our future? In the fullness of time, we will get there. Wow. I, we, we're ever increasing our understanding of the brain. Um, we have people who are from the psychology side studying the mind, and those two fields are starting to come together. What's that? Something to stop your heart. What? It's something to stop your heart. This film definitely had so many surprises. I didn't know what to expect. Usually, you know, you can Good. tell. Good. You probably didn't see the gonna... trailer, which I'm glad. <laughs> <Sorry, you're telling laughs> I me. did, and I oh, still. Oh, and you still got surprised. I still thought there Good. were a lot of surprises. So very well done. But Good. as a director, how important are those small details in either foreshadowing or preventing the viewer from knowing what's about to come? It's a thriller. It's everything. Is that? That is where the devil lives. If you don't get those things timed out, they don't pay off well later. Mm -hmm. You leave enough of those crumbs and see if, you know, Hansel and Gretel will show up in the right path. Mr. Hale, it's an honor. The man who built New York. People will insist that your buildings make you immortal. Now, as you slip away, do you feel immortal? So last question, the title can have many different meanings, especially given the depth of the characters, mm -hmm. um, especially Ryan Reynolds' character. So what does selfless mean to you? Uh, well, I think opposite of selfish. <laughs> At least for me, I'm, I'm very literal, I'm Indian. Yeah. <laughs> as foreigners, uh, as Spaniards that uh, work in English, uh, we treat the language uh, it, it, uh, uh, from from an outside perspective. You know, we, we, we see it from the outside and we, um, we found the word very interesting and that it could have plenty of meanings that would fit to the movie. In, in this movie, if the, the ideal would have been to create a, a, a clone of Ben Kingsley's character, mm -hmm. uh, Damien Hale, that clone would have been ideally without experience, without a life, without a consciousness, without a self of its own. It would have been selfless. Mm -hmm.